Mtazamaji wa UTV karibu katika eh, kipindi maalum kipindi ambacho kinapotea ushirikiano kati ya watu walotoka Amerika kuja hapa chuo kikuu cha Elimu kwa ajili ya kufanya matembezi kujua nini ambacho kinaendelea na jinsi gani wanafunzi wanafanya masomo yao katika chuo hiki cha Elimu. Bwana nipo na Samson kwenda kuangalia nini ambacho kinaendelea na watu wenyewe ni kwa wageni ambao wamefika na tutakwenda kuona eh, katika chumba cha gazeti ambacho mauzalishaji wote wa gazeti unafanyika hapa lakini baada ya hapo wataelekea ndani sasa kuona nini kinafanyika katika TV yetu ya UITV sasa tuungane na Nehemia Zomali ambapo atakwenda kutuelezea jinsi gazeti linavyofanyika katika eh, chuo kikuu cha Ilinga tuna magazeti ya Campus hii pamoja na Ilinga kwetu tuungane naye huku ndani tuweze kujua nini kinachoendelea pamoja sasa as you can see they are, they are editing some of the news which have been collected and every process of the news writing from the idea up to something like this it's students themselves they learn it from the grassroots to the upper root we as teachers we supervise them we give them the room to make mistakes because every saturday we have a general class which is called practicum we review we do the postmortem. Let's say of this guy, uh, a postmortem. I, I like that term. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of the newspaper, like which, which, which one was good, which one was bad, what, what to cut off, what to add, and so forth. So you may find that the students who comes here to start journalism, after his one year, two years, three years, he goes out there with knowledge, with his experience, with his skills, and that's why our products out there. They are doing very, very, very fine because they learn by doing not just in the class, what is news writing, how to design a newspaper. But when they're taught how to design a newspaper, the next task is to design. Bring it to me. I see this is the thing I've been told. This is all about the newspaper. Then we have the TV room, as you can see. They have their cameras, they are recording because every Today, we have a news outlet from our YouTube channel, which is called UOI TV. Again, they are taught in the classroom how to prepare a news TV, how to prepare a TV program, a TV documentary, and so forth. It's not just ending in the class. They have to go out, prepare it, do it. Then we see, we say, okay, this one's good, keep doing it. This one needs some improvement. This one, na 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 na, just leave it there. <laughs> And I think they have prepared, uh, they wish to have an interview with some of you in the TV room there. We know time is not with you, but please. Um, yes. Maybe some of you for sure. a very short interview, very, very short. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, professor. Okay. Very, very short. <laughs> kuendelea kuazimisha ya mapinduzi matukufu ya Zanzibar yaliyotwini uh, ya mheshimiwa rais wa Zanzibar Dr. Huseni Ali Mwinyi na mwenyekiti wa baraza mapinduzi karibu uweze kupasa mawili matatu ya wageni wetu siku hii ya leo karibu hello madam how hello. are you i'm well how are you i'm fine uh, okay our audience uh, i just want to know a little bit about your name title that my name and your name, yeah. teacher. Yes, uh, my name is Professor Catherine Schifferdecker, and I teach 
Old Testament at Luther Seminary in St. Paul, Minnesota. Oh, I feel blessed to have professor here. Uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I am Ro Schmidt, and I am a former professor pivoting to pastor, and I am from Texas. I live in Texas. Okay. To call him a professor, Hapa. By the way, how is the trip? How is how was the, the trip? The trip okay. was uh, was good. Uh, it was very long. Okay. Uh, but we uh, we flew into Dar es Salaam and then we took the bus uh, here to Aringa and marveled at the beauty of your landscape, the mountains and the rivers and the wildlife. It's beautiful. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, we know it's a long journey from. What exactly is what you hear? What has brought me here is yeah. a mission trip with my cohort from seminary. Dr. Shepard Bever brought me here as well, and just to see the beautiful motherland of Africa. Okay, 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 madam, yes. for your side. Uh, do you see any difference of university from USI to Tanzania, especially University of Eureka? Do you see any difference? Uh, it's many things the same. Okay. Right? Uh, people here to learn and to uh, to serve God and to um, to get an education to help people. Uh, we, we visited the psychology department and learned about their counseling and, yeah. and the theology, uh, preparing masters and evangelists. So that is the same. I think uh, you are blessed with many young, energetic uh, people who, Thank you. Uh, who, who are doing uh, very practical things. I like your your model of, uh, of doing uh, and learning while you do. Uh, we have a, a similar program. Uh, these students who are here uh, are learning. They are working in a church while they are taking classes. So uh, another similarity there. Uh, and also excited to serve people uh, and to serve God. OK, have you been here before? I have been to Tanzania, but not to Arena. Uh, OK. If I'm not wrong, you are a based partner of University of Iringa, and this is the new year, right? Yes. What, as a, what we should expect as a student of University of Iringa? You are coming here as a blessing, maybe a scholarship, training, or mentorship of our teacher. What should we expect? And this is a new year. <laughs> <laughs> continue and to strengthen the relationship between Luther Seminary and University of Arena. Uh, we uh, hope especially to work with the library to show some resources, uh, but uh, I, I have to check with our uh, president at Luther Seminary to find out uh, what exactly we can do, because uh, um, I am a faculty but not an administrator at Luther Seminary. Thank you, uh, Madam. Uh, can you uh, okay? Can you give a short, little, ex briefly summary of your dream around the university in five words? <laughs> five words. A hands-on application center. Okay, <laughs> that nice. Nizamaji wa UATV hapa ndio tumefikia mwisho wa kipindi chetu hichi mal ma kipindi chetu hichi mal tukutani wakati mwingine bye bye. Thank you. 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 When you go back there, remember University of Iringa has a journalism department, has a radio, has a TV. Karibu ni sana. You have a radio voice. Thank you.
Uh, na mtazamaji wa UITV hao walikuwa ni wageni kutoka Amerika ambao ni washiriki wazuri wa chuo kikuu cha Ilinga ambao wamepita uh, katika idara ya uandishi wa habari kuangalia jinsi kazi zinavyofanyika wameanzia katika redio uh, wameenda pia katika sema mambo gazeti ya uh, uzalishaji wa gazeti unafanyika lakini pia wamalizia katika uh, studio ya television ya UITV kwa hiyo ni vitu vingi sana ambavyo vimetokea na fursa nyingi zaidi zitazidi kutokea. Kwa hiyo ni jambo la heli na jambo la shukrani sana kwa watu hawa ambao wameza kufika hapa. Bwana tuzungumzie sasa upande wa fursa baada ya wageni hawa kutoka Marekani kwa wamefika chuo kikuu cha Ilinga. Ni fursa gani ambazo uh, wanafunzi watazipata kutokana na ujio huu? Uh, wanafunzi kwanza wa chuo kikuu cha Ilinga uh, watapata fursa tofauti kulingana na ujio wa wageni hawa. Uh, ikiwa moja hapo ni issue ya exposure tunapozungumzia exposure tunagusia swala so zima la yani ile uhalisia wa mambo ambayo yana, yanaendelea wameaona labda huko duniani walipokuja huku kutoka Marekani kuna kitu wanafunzi wanafanya ile mwonekano wao na the way lifestyle yao ilivyo na the way walivyo karibu na mimi kitu kizuri kitu, kitu kingine kwenye fursa kabisa kwa hizo tukazungumzia issue ya scholarship ama yani hapa hapa mtu anaweza kupata namna anaweza kupata contact au mawasiliano ambayo anaweza kumsaidia yeye kupata njia rais ya kwenda kusoma nje ya nchi na fursa kadha kwa, kwa, kwa mtazamo wa kawaida ndio unadhani ni changamoto zipi ambazo wageni hawa watakuwa wamezoezesha ambapo wanaweza wakisaidia chuo kikuu cha Ilinga katika kuzitatua katika sehemu ambazo wameza kupita kama idala ya uandishi wa habari ambapo kuna redio kuna gazeti lakini pia kuna television Okay, uh, ninavyoona kuna changamoto kadha kadha ambazo wameweza kuziona kama upungufu wa baadhi ya vifaa tukizungumzia pale uh, production room kuna baadhi ya vifaa vina miss kama sound proof system bila kusahau na baadhi ya computer zingine pia zifanye kazi kwa ujio wageni huo unaweza kwa faida kwa chuo kicho ringa na idara nzima ya uandishi wa habari kwani wanaweza wakasaidia kupatikana kwa vifaa hivyo na kuongezea baadhi ya vifaa vya kushutia kama kamera na kadhalika Asante uh, sana. Uh, mtazamaji wa UITV hao walikuwa ni wageni ambao wametokea uh, Marekani wamekuja hapa kwa ajili ya kuangalia jinsi gani wanafunzi uh, wanafanya wanaendesha mambo yao wakiwa wamepita katika idara mbalimbali na sasa wamelekea katika idara ya uh, uchungaji. Kwa hiyo tuendelee kufuatilia UITV nasema UITV tulanki digitali. Jina langu ni Samson Richard nilikuwa naye Samson Daudi. Asante na kwa heri.